Hi everybody, Jeff Hernandez here with the Connie Cola Group at Launch Real Estate. And the question of the day is, is the real estate market going to crash in 2021? Now we all remember in February and March of 2021 when the pandemic hit, brokers and clients alike were scrambling to figure out what's the new normal for the real estate market. The initial uncertainty, however, led to unprecedented sales in 2020 and throughout 2021 to date. Now, people are asking, is this trend going to continue? Is it going to continue to be a seller's market? If I'm a seller, should I sell now? If I'm a buyer, is it a good time to buy? Or have I missed the train? The answer to those questions is, yes, it's a good time to sell. And yes, it's a good time to buy. But before we get into that, I want to give you some historical perspective. Certainly the market is different today than it was in 2008. Right now there is no oversupply and builders cannot keep up with demand. Homeowners have more accrued equity in their homes. The lending rules are stricter and banks are better funded today than they were back in the mid to late 2000s. The Federal Reserve, thankfully, has stepped up uh, with early PPP and federal stimulus money to offset the early effects of the shutdown. And rather than waiting like last time, the banks uh, engaged in forbearance and loan modifications much earlier in the pandemic. So there is not predicted to be a wave of foreclosures like there was in 2009 through 2012. And finally, speculators are not in the market. They're not driving up home prices this time. So. Next question is, are we facing a real estate bubble? That's the question I asked at the top of the video. Bubbles occur when there's a rapid and unjustified increase in prices, often triggered by speculation in the market. Remember 2004 to 2008? Today's rise in prices is based on predictable results, namely low interest rates, low inventory, high demand. It's a simple supply and demand equation that's at play right now. Experts predict that throughout 2021, interest rates will remain low. In fact, just yesterday, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell indicated that he will keep interest rates low so long as unemployment numbers remain high. Once those numbers level out, interest rates will, are likely to rise. So what can we look forward to for the remainder of 2021? Interest rates will remain low. It's going to continue to be a strong seller's market. There will be more new home construction to help meet demand and ease price inflation. There will be a boost in the second half of 2021 as the pandemic eases and buyers put their pandemic savings to good use in the housing market. Also, the increase in long-term work from home policies will give a boost to a wide variety of markets, both now and in the years to come. All in all, experts predict a longer than usual hot seller's market. As always, if you're ready to buy or sell a home, or if you have any questions about the real estate market in general, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can call me, email me, text me, send me a message by Carrier Pigeon or Pony Express, whatever you need to do. I'm here to help you. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'm Jeff Hernandez with the Connie Cola Group at Launch Real Estate. We move you forward. It's what we do best. Thank you.